Hello everyone, I'm Serum Police, and welcome back to another episode from my Roman campaign. Let's go ahead and look up north and see what Tobias and are up to. First off, we need to return Petrodava back to the ownership of Rome, so let's do that right now. They have pretty much no men here, so we'll just kill them. Boom, dead. And Caesar will keep marching north, and once we take care of the Biafi, instead of going after the Rieti, we instead we'll go after Gaul with him, which means that we'll take out the Insubris. Let's see, that location is not happy, I understand that. Let's go after these guys and try to assault one of their patrols. Boom. Oh, he failed. Oh well. Alright, Caesar, I could let you go forward now. Even if these lands are retaken, as long as I take Tur, which is a major city, I believe, yeah, a major city, then at least from that point, Legion 3 can come back and retake what's lost. So I guess we can go there now. Let's see, if we can stay on the road, that would be great. Oh, we're going this way? Well, that's not too bad then. We need to go that way. Just to try to take out this damn army of mountain men. Okay, we shall wait in ambush. Alright, Bills, you're going to build up a temple. And then a villa. Or actually another temple, as we need to try to keep you happy. That will be difficult. Alright, let's see. They're not happy over here. We'll find a rebellion. I'm trying to quickly end all of these people. Alright, then down here we can move forward and try to get back to our land. To try to take that city, we should be able to hold it because they have walls. Alright, Delicatessen, I'll build that. Everything else is fine. Alright. Now my navies are still being built up. Once they're all done, we'll be in a great place. We'll be able to take out everything that's left in the Black Sea and wherever else. Now Tarsus, I need you to go do something soon. For now, we'll go fight the, the Galatians as I have a few legions who have been waiting to do so. Alright, we will break off our treaty. And next we'll kill them. I need them dead. They've been here for too long. Okay, you can stop fighting people. I've been having you get involved in too many wars. Uh, Legion 4, go after this location. Boom. Alright, they have pretty much no men. Or I just have so much men that they cannot live. Please don't kill my elephant though. Please don't kill my elephants. Good. That was close. I have to be careful with that. Okay, we now have a new location. Oh, they damage Iconium. Damn. Let's go ahead and convert this location. It doesn't have walls, so I don't want it to be that much of a high tier location. Alright, then over here, irrigation ditches, sure. Now what can I upgrade? Oh, I can upgrade my men, surprisingly. Let's do that before we go ahead and destroy it. Upgrade our men who are within the area. Nice! Can I hire any mercenaries? Yeah, some javelin men. That's what I'll do for now since we are missing a group. Okay. Let's see, over here. Oh, no, 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 do not disband. I'm going to try them in a field battle. Maybe they'll do a little bit better. I have quite a few archers. Okay, what about you? You can upgrade too. Nice, look at that. Level 2 weapons for my elephants. I guess they have still tusks. Well, not still, but bronze tusks or something like that. Iron. Alright, let's keep on doing that. And we'll talk about this first servile war very soon, as told by the Greek historian Diodorus Siculus. And there are a few other historians that talk about this first war, but I decided to go with his tale. Or his account of it. <laughs> okay. Next, we need to go after what? See, it's hard to see now because of all that mess down there. Good. Alright, the Galatians are over here. Oh, I didn't have an army right by there. Shoot. Didn't think about that. Or I didn't remember that it had a location there. Sorry, Macedonians, I didn't mean to. Alright. That is a lot of men, a lot of noble horses, wow. And Galatian swords, ooh, those, those guys are strong. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and have this legion go after this force over here. So we're about to have some large battles against these Galatians. But once that's over, it will be over. Wow, we're, we're about to end this war in Asia Minor, finally. We've been fighting them back and forth. If I had my navies, see, I didn't need my navies in, in the past. When I fought in the west, we didn't need them. Now that we're in the east, now I, I know. If you're going to Asia Minor, bring a damn navy. Because if you look at the cities, a lot of coastal cities. So clearly, you would need that. Alright, so we'll wait for this battle to pan out for us. We have another one over here. We have a legion over here. That needs to take out Pessinus. Whoa, I can upgrade over here too. Cool. Oh, right, because it's for the whole area. Okay. Let's do that then, the whole province. Nice upgrades for my legions, really. That's going to help out a lot for future battles. Yeah. I mean, it's a minor upgrade, but still, that gives us a little bit more of an edge. No wonder, I guess, they got so many kills. They had a lot of tough men. 
No mercenaries here. I need a area to. Let's see. What is that? A blacksmith. Okay. We'll destroy it for now. I can build my own if needed. And over here, I'll have you go after this city. They'll be out in one turn. Alright, we have another legion over here. Okay, where will I send you, though? I could send you over here to try to help out. That would be neat. I mean, if, if you want to. Sorry, guys. I, I know that they don't like when I trespass. I might try to get some access from them then. They still really like me, though. 358, wow. Let's see. Trespasses against Macedon. Okay, that's why they're not happy, but because I, I find so many of their foes, they still like me a lot. All right, let's go ahead. Not aggression pack. No. <laughs> okay, sure. Here's some money. All right, let's see how much they, they love me now. I just want to stay friends with them. I wish we could have an alliance. 376, I, I've given them a great gift. Yeah, only 30 for that much money? Jeez. Egypt likes me. Parthia likes me. Wow, a lot of people like me, surprisingly, in the East. I guess all who like me. Oh. There's a lot of love for Rome, surprise. <laughs> Why? You know I'm very bloodthirsty. Oh, well. They don't need to know that. Okay. So we'll be talking about the first Servile War, as I said very soon, as told by Diodorus Siculus and... I want to go ahead and end this turn now. I believe I've moved most of my legions. Legion 5, yeah, you're over there. Legion 2, up here. I don't have anywhere to really move you unless I go after... Let's see, I'll try to stage an ambush to see if they'll come towards us and we'll try to kill them. Where's that at? Ambush. Boom. Okay. Legion 3 is over here. Alright, your general's gotten a new skill. Turn him into a good soldier. Okay, Legion 8 is in Iconium. We can take out the Sardis. Who's close to this location? Not really anyone. I, I Codium, you're mostly of my culture. Ooh, but you're not happy. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go back in, in there. Oh, we can upgrade some more men, too. Nice. Good for you guys. See for my general. See, no more mercenaries for us. Okay. Let's make sure that we've upgraded what I can. Alright, my elephants should be ready. Oh, let's upgrade that general's bodyguard. I wish I could say upgraded. That would be nice. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and head back to Africa. And he has one, one more turn and then he'll have my elephants that are ready to be moved into my new forces. And my fleets are still being built. That'll take many, many turns. Makes me sad. They should be from the same area. Why is it taking so long for my fleet to be built? Let's see. Yeah, I guess I can only build my navy. Let's see, we're building it here, which is not in the same area. And yet, it's taking how long? Yeah, see, it's following, I believe, the other groups. Okay, well, my navy will take time to build up. Okay, we've pretty much... Wow, yeah. We might have Asia Minor under control by next turn, unless they take a new city from us, which they might not be able to do that. So let's end this turn. Up north is where we're having a little bit more of a problem. If I can keep peace in the east, then I'll just head west now with a few legions. I won't need as many to fight because I won't be locked by sea, or not locked by sea, but I won't be so close to the sea. So, let's look at this real quick. Quite the army. We don't have walls here. I could defend it and kill many of their men. No, no, we'll just wait. Now my other city that they're trying to take, that's where we will fight. I'll let Legion 3 just take care of them in a more traditional way. But then again, no, no, never mind. Well, I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay, well, we're going to lose this pretty fast, but we will try to find them. All right, Mom, get ready. You're about to get fight. <laughs> Poor guys. I have levies. Let's see, I have the rest of my men back here. At least if they go through one direction, hopefully they will. I'll be able to do pretty well. Cool looking town, though. I really like it. Huh. Very cool. All right. Mobs go forth. Let's see, levies. I want you to fire into the mobs. Ah. All right, we'll fast forward. So the first servile war, as told by Diodorus Seculus, as I said, the Greek historian. Now, Sicily would become wealthy under Roman rule after the Second Punic War. They would begin to purchase massive amounts of, of slaves who would begin to handle the herds and also farm quite a bit, as farming or agriculture would require a lot more slaves and just to handle the herds. And so here, 
you would have a Syrian slave here, and he was supposedly skilled in magic and other tricks, and so he began to work wonders, and people would be amazed by it, and he would try to tell what would happen in the future, and what would happen to is that they would tell only when it was true, but when it was false, they were like, eh, they didn't really give it much thought. And so, what would happen next is that he would claim that a Syrian goddess would appear to him and said that he should be king. Now, his slave owner, his owner Antigones, would take him to dinner parties and let him speak of his kingship, evoking amusement from all of the people here. Alright, hold on. Let's keep on going now. It's actually a really cool story that isn't really spoken about much. I think it's fascinating. Alright, here go the javelins. Already wavering? Wow. I want to fire the rest of their infantry. Alright, send them all in. We'll just go blob it. Try to keep them together. The bigger the blob, then they should be able to... Damn. Poor, poor mobs. They just can't hold up. Alright, a bow horseman I'm not too worried about. Alright, my veteran legionary should be able to get a lot of kills. Yeah, my, my mobs did not last for long. <laughs> Alright, let's javelin them up now. Hopefully get a lot of kills. Alright. Ferrari, you're going forth now. Come on. Come on, and come on. Keep on going now. Alright, so they're all going to go fight. My javelin men are beginning to throw their javelins naturally. Hopefully we'll get as many kills as we can. As all these, oh, they're, they're all breaking rather quickly. I expected them to stay and fight. I don't know why they broke so quickly. Wow. That's terrible. Thanks a lot, you bastards. Jeez. They didn't... They barely lost any men. Huh. Well, alright then. Okay. They're throwing a lot of javelins. Not getting tons of kills, but... As long as we can weaken them at least a little bit, that would be a start for us. Alright, let's take out a lot of those horsemen, though. Or even their spears would be a good hit, a good place to kill. Alright, let's see, Seth Mistrambo. Come on, do not break, you just need to stay and fight. You can win this. I, I have faith in you. Kind of. Keep on killing them, come on. Alright. Go after some more of their men. They're acting weird, just kind of all being a big blob here. Right, let's see, we're losing more groups. Or we will lose them. In just moments from now. Okay, so what would happen to is that in this town of Inna, you would have a guy called Damophilus, and he would abuse his slaves excessively. And his slaves conspired to kill him, and they went to Ionis, which is which is the guy who was trying to be a prophet here. And they would ask him if the gods had favor for them. And so he would actually encourage them and said that they did. So at this point what would happen is that Ionis would go with them with 400 slaves and they would go ahead and pillage that city and kill pretty much everyone there. Now those who can make arms like swords and things like that, they were kept alive but shackled in order to make these slaves arms. Alright, good work man. Let's fire their men over here now, these foxmen. They should have low armor. I need a drink. I've been talking too much. I get tongue-tied when I talk too much. I think we're, oh, we're actually getting a lot of kills on, on the Foxmen because of their low armor. That's awesome. Legionaries. Let's finish. Okay, good. We finished them off. Let's keep firing that for now. Please don't break, man. I just want you to stay here and fight. <laughs> They're doing so well against the Foxmen. Alright, we're firing at their spear. It's not as important. Let's hit in their Foxmen. More, more spears over here. The Foxmen are pretty high damage, I believe, so they're kind of deadly. Oh, hello. Let's get fire over here now. Let's see. We'll take care of the Foxmen. I'll just have you fire at the spears now. Alright, quick reload. Now over here, we'll keep on stabbing them and killing them. Fighting more spears. How many kills have they gotten so far? Let's see. Number 200. These guys are getting... Wow, my Belite's got over 300 kills because they're so lightly armored. Yeah, the AI is still not very good at trying to take towns or cities. They don't do as well. Hopefully the future patches will improve that even more. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. They're getting destroyed. 
take out their skirmishers now. Leites, go forth. Well, actually, wait. We'll go over here and fight these guys and help out my legionaries. That's so awesome how they're holding so sh firmly. At least when we come back, we won't lose very many men. Oh, Belites, you brave bastards. Yeah, we've killed a lot of their skirmishers. Okay, over here. Let's pursue these spears. Let's see. We've gotten almost 300 kills. You've gotten over 100. Even my levies, man, are getting a lot of kills. That's embarrassing for these guys. I hope that we've actually wiped out a few other groups. That would be even better for us. Alright, let's just fast forward. It's taking a bit too long. They've taken too long to kill my men. Ah, well... And so even more slaves would join them and they would kill off most of the people as I said and so in three days the mostly armed 6,000 men would begin to ravage the countryside and their number would then increase to 10,000. It would just keep in increasing. Now keep in mind this is probably counting the women and children too. And so from there you would have a slave named Cleon and he would begin a revolt too. Now the hope in Rome was that they would begin to fight each other, but instead of that, we killed over 1,000. Great. Instead of that, they, he would actually join up with Ionis and serve as his general. Now, it's said that this guy was able to do so well because Cleon was a fairly talented leader of his men. And so their numbers over time would increase to possibly a peak of 200,000, of course, including the women and children. And so they would capture many cities and defeat many Roman armies, but then a Roman leader called Repolius, or Rupolius, or I think it's Rupilius. Anyway, point is, he would capture a city of Tarominium, and he would then go to Ina, where Cleon was slain and captured the city. And he captured many cities due to betrayal, and so this slave army would be betrayed at many points whenever this large Ro Roman force would come to fight them. And so, Ionis would flee and would be captured, but he would die before he could receive his punishment. Shoot. Another one. Ah, they keep retaking my cities. I'll have to keep killing them. But Caesar's right here, so he'll take them out. Wait, no he's not. Is he? Yeah, okay, cool. He's right there, so we'll retake that city too. Then we'll have to go back to Tor. I might have Caesar go back home instead and just send Legion 3 to go handle it. Okay. And so, Repulius would then spend the rest of his time in Sicily ridding the whole island of robbers and brigands and whatever other slaves. And so, that was the first of the Servile Revolts, and you would have two more. And the third one is where you would have Spartacus come out. We have elephants, and I do not want them to die to auto-resolving, so we'll quickly fight this. Okay, so for this battle, only my gladiators and my elephants will fight for it. Alright, we're going to try to take out their Galatian swords as we fight them, though. There we go. Alright, good work, good work. Okay, now, skirmishers, you must die. I will lose a lot of gladiators because they're lightly armed, but that's okay. I forgive them. Don't die yet, though. Alright, let's see, we're still hitting their friends. Almost time to send in the elephants now. Elephants, are you ready? Almost ready? Good. We who are going to die. You mean. Well, I guess I'm about to die will suffice, too. Okay, elephants go in. Let's go kill the rest of them. Who are left after my Oniker destroyed their leader's bodyguard. Okay, so they're already beginning to waver now. As you can see, my gladiators are pretty tough. There we go. Nice. Some big monstrous men. Oh, here comes the Galatian leader. Ouch. Good work, elephants. Let's keep on going after them, though. Alright, let's go after their friends over here. Come on, come on, come on. One group after the Galatian swords. Oh no, chase him. You're not going to stop here. You will chase and kill. Oh, here come the elephants now. Ow. No, you're not done yet. You have to go fight. They're just going to kill you with your javelins. There we go. That is a lot of elephants. Hold on, let's just kill a few more. We'll fast forward as we kill them. Alright, good work. Chase after them. Use the whip. Go. Alright, nice work, Elephants. You've done very well. Yeah, we've killed most of them. Good. I mean, that was expected. I just can't auto-resolve with my Elephants, because more often than not, they're very close to dying whenever I, I do that. Okay, and what we'll be talking about next in our next episode is the Cimbrian War. Now, I won't go into huge detail, as I want to cover more about Gaius Marius and his Marian reforms, as I would like to 
really just go in, into depth about that and what led up to them and why they were there and why they had to happen and what were the consequences that would have resulted from these reforms. Okay, let's go ahead and occupy now. Cool. Is that all? Okay, we've taken that city now. I've, let's see, Arce Mosata. A lot of new words that I'm having to say now. It's really interesting to have to learn how to pronounce a lot, even though I'm, I'm not pronouncing a lot of them correctly, but I guess in my own English-speaking ways, I'm trying my best. Okay. Let me see. Rome back to our turn again. I was hoping a lot more would come to fight me on the field. At some of I guess they're not trying to fight me either. Okay, we have another army to fight here. Back to the battlefield. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and begin the battle in just a moment here. That formation will do. Boom, we shall begin now. Alright, I don't know where they're at. We'll just go ahead and fast forward until they get closer. As my ballistas want to beat Enemy them up. Approaching. Now, General, you're going to be the only one who's going to go to move, move away. First cohort, you'll take their place. I'm waiting for the generals of my legions to not die so quickly for me to use them in combat. For now, no. <laughs> they will not be using combat. Okay, who do we need to hit? We need to hit their leader, as usual. He's the toughest one of their lot. Wait, only Celtic warriors? This seems very low tier. Okay. Let's begin to hit them now. We also have another little force coming our way, made up of what? Slingers. Oh. And some Oath Sworn. Okay, it's not too bad, I guess. Alright, they're getting closer now. Let's begin to move forward. With my men. Alright, just like that. Just like that. Okay. We're still hitting their leader. Ooh, right in the fields, man. You guys are jerks! Destroying his poor farmer's crops. Bunch of asses. Okay, stop firing now. Everyone run. Everyone go forward and kill them. Okay. This portion of my forces will go over here instead. Alright, Iberians, let's move you. Oh, except for you. Let's move all of you forward. And then the rest of you forward too. Alright, we're all going forward to fight. Awesome, awesome. Alright, they're now shaken. They're not going to last too long. We already have this in the bag. See, here's my elephants. We do not want them to be hit by the enemy fire. Alright, we have another... Who's over here? Oh, Sworn. Okay. If we can go hit that group, I'll be happy about that. Good. Alright, let's see. We've killed most of them. Let's go after their friends who are left. Chase after who's fleeing. Alright, my elephants who are being hit. Oh, yeah, they're being hit. Shoot. Alright, let's go after their friends now. I'll let my veterans go after their friends who are trying to reinforce their buddies. Lost a few elephants though. Yeah. Makes me very sad. How oh, dare they? Alright, my Iberians are just going to hunt them down and kill them now. And over here, I'm letting my ballista fire at another leader. Come on now, keep on hitting them. Good, good, good. We'll keep on killing that guy. Alright, then over here, I'm going to let my Iberians go forward and hit them again. Moving to over here. Let's see, Iberians, where are you going? You need to chase down some fools. Let's see, I'm gonna let you go after them and chase them down. Good, good. Let's see, over here, we're actually still fighting them, surprisingly. Alright, let's get my elephants out over to this side. I keep pursuing them. They're still eager to fight? Huh. Yeah, we need to take out that group of Thorio Spears. Okay. You no longer need to fire. We've taken out most of their friends. Let's see, Iberians, you can go forward. They're going forward. Iberians, you can hit them too. With a, with a very nice charge. Uh, let's reinforce my men. Nice. Ouch. And a charge. Alright, that would have destroyed them. Or that has destroyed them. Alright, elephants, let's go over here. I'll let you trample them. Oh, you can go after their slingers now. Yeah, we'll go take out their friends right over here then. Actually, I'll, I'll have you go there. We'll trample. You can go over here and trample. Boom. Alright. Instant demolishment. Oh, you're hitting my friends too, so kill them. Right, who's not moving? We need to make sure that we take out the rest of these guys so that they're not on the field and able to take any of my cities once I take theirs. Alright, let's trample away. Let's see. Boom. Right from behind. Ouch. Again. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay. 
Let's pursue for a moment. Well, good. I would hope you could be dead. Yeah, my elephants can destroy them so easily once they can just line that up. It's beautiful. I didn't think that the elephants would become a traditional part of my army. I mean, Rome would give that up quickly because of how bad things can go, and whenever your foe learns how to fight them, it does not go as well, but in these cases, the battles are a little bit more disorganized, so that comes into the favor of my elephants, who can also be steered quite easily, which is kind of funny, but... Right. see that if you want to kill. Yeah, as you can see, we've destroyed them completely. Wow. Another victory. Okay. Decisive victory. We killed over 2200. They killed 262. We had no friendly fire at all, which is surprising. Yeah, my elephants, when they can get that nice charge off on a big group, done. Adversity reveals the genius of a general in good fortune. Da -da -da. Okay. Let's look at this again. Now we've taken Pessimus. We'll go ahead and just kill them as usual. We can't let them live. That would be silly. We should have skilled up, potentially. I guess we'll find out. Waiting for more orders. <laughs> yeah, I wiped them out. That was a great fight for us. Alright, we've captured that location. No more subjugating. That didn't pan out at all. We'll demolish it. Convert it. Get it from there. New temple. Okay. You can look at what we've done. We've done very well. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I shall see all of you later. We're going to go ahead and try to retake everything that we've lost. It shouldn't be too hard. Caesar's going to come back down and handle them. He wasn't going to, but now he's, he's going to have to. So we'll take care of the Biefi. Hopefully soon. I wish someone would take Terrace, but I won't have to take it. But I'll have to, I'll have to go take it, unfortunately. Okay, then after that, I'll send Caesar to Gaul. He'll be a little bit older, and hopefully he'll live to a, a ripe old age. I doubt it, but it would be nice if he would. And then we have a few more cities to take, like Ephesus. And really, the Tribali are done for. I'm still building up my navy. Let's see, then we'll probably go after whatever's in the Black Sea. We'll probably go after the Armenians, finally. And then after that, we'll just keep on going east. And I'll send a few legions back home. I'll probably send maybe two to Egypt. Oh, whoa, the Macedonians are here? Are getting closer? Yeah, nice work. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we will go ahead and probably head to Egypt. Oh, Cyprus is... Wow, okay, that's really weird. I didn't think they would take land in the middle of that land there. But they did. Alright, let's look at how close I am to finishing my objective. See, I have 70, so I need 70 more. Wow. I need Armenia, Britannia. So I need a lot more. That is surprising. Well, we need to double what we're doing then. Okay, well, I shall see all of you later, and as always, until then.